<sighs> Alright, pups. It's not as much food as I wish I could go ahead and give you, but at least we've got food a time. little bit of a snack. Chow down, pups. And there you go. Yeah, I know. It's not much. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure we'll be able to find all of the tools that, you know, I guess for roleplay purposes, we could say we accidentally lost in a late night run when we were rushing away from wolves and, and a stampede of mustox, my worst enemy. And who knows? Maybe there were even squirrels chattering at us from the trees and shouting and shouting. And, and it was just a nightmare terror of a run. And we'll say for roleplay purposes that it made us lose all of the useful tools that we should be carrying with ourselves and maybe even some of our med packs and bullets that we have started to carry but I think that we'll be able to be okay we're gonna make the most of it we're gonna be able to figure out some of your guys stories all over again and hopefully Slayer maybe a bit of a massage keep you loose for the trail we can figure out why you are so afraid of elk and finally get to the bottom of your story you're the only dog that we haven't won the heart of just yet but all right guys, welcome back to the Red Lantern, where we've put together a new dog team with some old friends, mixing together Iggy, Bodega, Noodle, and Slayer to actually make a brand new team that hopefully will bring out Slayer Shire side. And I'm kind of, it's just, it's amazing. I keep expecting to see, when I see Iggy, I'm expecting to also see, you know, Barkley and Bodega and Finn all clustered over here. And whenever I see Noodle and Slayer, I keep trying to look to see where Stilton is, and he's not there. But maybe we'll go on some runs mixing together the other half of our dog team in the future. For now, let's go ahead and get back on the trail. Get back on the trail? Ready to go? And let's see how quickly this team is actually going to be able to have some successful runs. Find new materials, new food. Oh, Iggy girl, look at you! You're so pretty! Let's see what's out here. All right. We're heading towards what looks like a caribou drawn faintly. Oh, a skunk. <sighs> skunk. I'm very glad that we don't have Finn with us. Ugh. Ugh. Maybe that'll at least keep some of the animals away and I won't turn into like a wolf chewing toy this oh, time. Ha! All right, we've got this, pups. We'll see how this takes us. And if, after we complete this run, if we still don't find any more elk... Oh, wait, there's a caribou. Wait, is that a caribou? All right, let's go ahead and hunt it. I only have one bullet left, though. Okay, just breathe and pull the trigger. This has got to be perfect. So I've got to wait until it lines up just right. Nope, that would have completely missed. Maybe we'll get really lucky and find where we <clears throat> lost, as we'll say for the roleplay of it all. The gun cleaner last time. Not yet, not yet. I wonder if it's harder because it's so far away. Uh, getting a little closer. Nope. Alright, alright, wait for it. I'll just have to take the best shot I can with this, I think. Nope. Almost. 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 Huh! I hit it! Dang it! Come on, fall, please. That was my last bullet. And it's still fine. Great. Oh, I have to leave this job undone. I guess someone else will get a nice meal later. I'm sorry, Caribou. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so we're out of bullets. Let's Not be good. safe up there. Not good, but at least we'll, you know, get a little bit further. I really feel bad that I wounded the caribou and didn't finish the job. Uh, whoa, those shadows are sort of spooky right now. And what's that up ahead? Is that another squirrel? No, it's just a clump of grass. Ugh, where's Stilton? I'm already seeing things. Oh, you pup see that? It's a caribou. Oh, that's really cool. I wonder if I could just go ahead and watch it. I've got the energy. This is when we whisper, right? Dang it. See, this guy is so close to us. That would have been so much food. So, yeah. They just, uh... All right. So, it's the elk, actually, that boogle. The other day, we were talking about how caribou might boogle. But it's actually the elk that boogle and the caribou that grunt. So, let's try... Uh... 
Great. Ooh. That worked? Is it coming at us? Uh, did I just do a mating call? Does he think I'm a girl caribou? Or does she think I'm a boy caribou? They can all grow antlers. <laughs> you know, we don't need to ponder the concept of a uh, caribou identity right now. We need to... <laughs> Unfortunately, we're going to have to run away. Even though if I had just kept that bullet, we would have a huge meal right on the hoof for us. But that's okay. We're going to just learn from our experiences and try harder next run. Not sure mating calls are for me. Plus, it's kind of fun to be forced into making different choices than we Come have back. before. You know, I guess that's part go, of Chopper. learning about all of, all of what it takes to be part of the wild and all of what it takes to be here. While we're doing these runs, I really feel like even when we mess up, there's still at least a story, still at least something we learn about ourselves from it. And that's pretty valuable. If we try to do everything perfect in life, hmm. let's go. Mm -hmm. Ha! You know, we're actually doing pretty well. I not mean, really. It's not really. You know, just we're out of all of our resources. Why do you choose right, this particular run to somebody. be extremely positive? It's been really nice. Not seeing any other people. It's just us in the world. I didn't expect to talk out loud this much, but we're really doing this. We're, I, I mean, I, I'm becoming a musher, like a real one. I think Margot would be proud. I still can't believe she gave us her old cabin and, and gear. We're making progress. We should be there soon enough. Yeah, no. <laughs> Not this run. The pups are about to get too tired to go any further. But we'll go ahead, we'll start again, and we'll see how far we can get ourselves. Looks like I'm really going to need to focus on food rather than trying to get to the bottom of Slayer's story for a little while. Are we going to get lucky enough to at least find an ice, uh, one of the, like, ice holes where the fishing rod is hiding? Oh, look at this lake. Uh, I'm not sure I actually like traveling on this ice. Noodle, do you hear something? <gasps> I think I'd like to get off the ice now. You guys, you guys, you guys! Bodega? Oh my gosh! How'd you get us out of there, boy? Bodega! You just saved all oh, of our lives! Bodega. You did real good, and I owe you a treat. I just don't have one to give right now. But we'll get one soon. Let's just set up a camp, and, and we'll make a plan from there. Anywhere that's not on the site. Everybody, oh my gosh! Bodega just saved our life from dying in the ice! Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. That's never happened even though we ran over here again and again and again and again with right. Bodega. Let's mush on. Clearly, I think it's because we mixed together the dogs. Things really do happen differently depending on what kind of dogs you have with you. The stories are potentially endless. Just think oh, about no, that. Right. Now, what, like, huh. oh my gosh, I feel so bad. We're frozen. Oh, we're going to plan. I Shh. Do it now. Okay, look, you were just telling yourself how you're becoming a real musher, and then literally you end up falling. We'll Our find a way. Have gotten us this far. Look at what we've already. Your instincts are really bad. <laughs> just saying. All right, we're about to have to give up on this you okay, run. Pops? I've pushed you too hard, haven't I? It's okay. We're done. You've done all you can. Oh, wow. Ah, ah, a nightmare. <sighs> we have to plan ahead. I know what Okay, to... okay. I cannot believe that we actually ended up falling through the freaking ice and Bodega rescued us. And the thing is, we ran dozens of runs with Bodega before, but that has never happened. So it really does seem to determine, like, what's the other half of the team that you have with you. Oh, wow. Think about all the stories we could still find. This is so exciting. The part where, you know, the dogs and I almost die, not so exciting, but still. All right, let's go ahead and see. Did we learn to prepare at all? We just felt small out on the plains. Are there really a million lakes here? And then we also saw the ptarmigans, just a little bit about them. Successfully learned to talk caribou and you have to finish what you started. And imagine all the new neighbors you'll have. So we literally, basically, just learned that we need to bring more bullets and a little bit more food. And that's as far as we made it this run. One of our shortest, but I've never fallen through the ice before. Like, what? Okay, we're gonna have to go ahead and take good care so of the dogs say? this time. And you know what? 
I think I'm gonna let the dogs lead this time. I'm kind of nervous to go back up against the ice, to be right. completely uh, honest. The cabin's supposed to be. So let's go ahead and we'll let the dogs make all go. of the choices. And we'll uh, let this be a wild run. Why not? Let's follow their instincts. Okay, I'm just gonna sit back and we'll let the dogs decide if we're gonna go gee or ha ha. And eventually when we get all the way to the cabin, we can praise them for their instincts. Wow. I can't believe we fell through the ice. I'm kind of nervous about hmm. going across the ice Let's now. Let's go. All right, you guys. We're gonna let them decide. I wonder which dog is gonna try to take the lead. Without Stilton here, will this work or will we just end up going in circles? Hey, Noodle handled it. All right, we're going hot again. Good boy, Noodle. Bodega. <gasps> I've never seen two weasels like that. I've never seen two weasels like that. Are we finally going to learn about these little guys? Oh, they're playing. Where'd your buddy go? Wait, what? Uh, guess their distraction didn't work. You're far too food territorial to allow a weasel to steal something from you. <gasps> Bodega! He just saved our- oh my gosh. So first, Bodega pulls us out of the ice when we almost end up dying by falling through the ice. And then, apparently, one weasel was distracting us and the other one was trying to steal our food. And he ended up getting the weasel. You want a treat? Good boy, Bodega. You have just earned all of the treats ever. I feel like I need to make him in our Sims 4 crossover series now and just have him be like the hero dog who has come in to like rescue us. And you're just, you're amazing, Bodega. Have the treat. Go ahead and chow down on that piece of meat. I'll pack up the weasel. Good job, Bodega. I appreciate you looking out for us. That's so cool. We finally figured it? out what the weasel thing was all about. Some more food. Let's go, Chomper. I'm proud of these guys. They've got good instincts. This is going to be a good run. We'll just follow their instincts, let them take us wherever we're going. And then, Bodega, you have just won all of the praise. Already he tried protecting us from a wolverine, but now he went as far as to save us from falling through the ice, to save the weasels from Looks stealing like we the found food. some birch trees. Ah, we are going to need some birch. I need you to start fires. <sighs> that was more work than it should have been. Let's get back to it. All right. I'm back. Bodega will really help. Bodega's best boy. Ready to go? I mean, they're all good boys and girls. Don't get me wrong. But wow, Bodega, I'm just really, really, really proud of him right now. Fork in the road. Where to? All right, pumps. I'm gonna leave this up to you guys again. Are we gonna go ha? Are we gonna go G? It's up to them. Slayer! Slayer picked where we're going now. Okay, this is way too fun. Letting the dogs go ahead and pick where we're going actually is turning out is really a great. There? Why is it running so? Oh, it's a weasel. Wait, why are we running into so many weasels? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna leave it. I guess that weasel was trying to steal our food again. And then we'll set up camp. We'll make a camp at the next safe spot. In just a little bit. Because we're going to need to go ahead and have a bit of food. It's far away, but it's here. What should we do? Uh, let's go ahead and try to hunt it. Getting a little just bit more food would be just great. Just wind, distance, that uh, physics arcing thing. What was that? A parabola? Is that right? Come on, back to present. Okay, it's just a little further away. Time to take our chance. I don't know, this one's gonna be tricky. Holy hell, I made that shot? I'm gonna pretend that wasn't just luck. Definitely my innate abilities coming to the surface. We all have to find our true selves. Mine just happens to be one with the wilderness. I I'm hear comfortable that. out here. Even when I'm scared out of my mind. And now to get that bounty. Pups, we're in for a treat. That was awesome! That was all new, too! Hey, look what I found. I guess it's because we got I've lucky got with that meat. shot. Oh, I'm starving. Three bullets left. Let's get back out there. Ah, wow. 
All right, it looks like our wild run where we are letting the dogs follow their instincts is Let's definitely turning out to be a pretty good one. And Bodega! Take a break, pups. Bodega, Bodega, Bodega! You are the hero of you the day. You don't care much for pets, do you? There you go, you're such a good boy. He rescued us, you guys. We were going to end up a frozen like icicle at the bottom of a lake in the middle of Alaska. I doubt anyone would have ever found us in that case. And instead, he pulled us and all the rest of the dogs out of the water. And then he saved our food from weasels. He More is of a food motivated type. A very good oh, dog. You're so wonderfully scruffy. Ah, <sighs> wow. All right, and Slayer actually picked this direction as well, and it led to a ton of food that we actually have hanging up. So I'm feeling even more optimistic than ever that we'll be able to have a really good adventure this time. We've already seen a whole bunch of new things that we haven't seen on either of our other adventures, so this is great. This is great. Just absolutely peachy. But all right, guys, if you could, do please leave a like for Best Boy Bodega saving our lives. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.